Today's topic has to do with how do you get your treasure? It's a term that guys have been using when they are looking to flip something. They don't necessarily find it just out in the wild. You know, they're actually researching this stuff. It's called sourcing. And can you source products to make money on it? How do you source it? Like, you have to know what it's selling for and you have to know what you can buy it for. And of course, it's the old adage, buy low, sell high. It's kind of like the stock market. Well, today we are playing the stock market and I'm calling out two guys that I've been watching here on YouTube. And if you guys haven't checked them out, make sure you go check their channels out. I've actually learned a great deal from these two guys. Um, the first guy, Craigslist Hunter, Pete, I hear you over there. I literally went back after I watched just a couple of your videos. I started from your first video and watched 98% of them, <laughs> you know, from finish to end. It was the, probably the best reality YouTube series I've seen in quite a long time. And then in one of your latest videos, you actually recommended me to another channel. And I believe it's King Flips over at uh, his YouTube channel. He definitely does have a different take on what he's doing, how he makes his videos. Uh, I love both the styles. So today, I want both of your guys' opinions. Let me know if I have sourced out two products that we could make some money on. And then the real key is, is it worth my time? Can I make enough money on this to basically say, yes, this is a good investment? What's my ROI on this? Pete, I know you like these products where you can definitely get bigger return. Uh, you know, you're talking $80, $90, uh, even if you have to pay up, so it's worth your time to ship them out. Uh, same thing with king flips you know you guys are looking for the high-end items however when there's a deal to be made how do you pass it up specifically pete we're talking when you bought sunscreen in bulk um you know how did that go for you was it worth your time um today we are sourcing holiday items we're talking christmas the holiday season is over and everything is on major discount and i've noticed two items that they're as seen on tv but people went nuts for them and they were selling for like 40 45 dollars retail before the season started and now there's all this extra inventory and you can get them dirt cheap we're gonna go in i'm gonna show you guys what they have and then you let me know is it worth buying all of this? Can I strike a deal with a manager and get it for even what's cheaper than what they have it listed on the floor? Um, and if I buy it all, is it worth the time? Can I make enough money on this? So I'm going to take you guys in. You'll see what I'm talking about. And I'd love to hear your feedback. I've done the research. I know what these items are typically bringing from the sold listings on eBay, but is it enough? Does it justify going out and actually making the investment to get the return on it? That's what we need to know. All right, so this is where we are sourcing today. The depot. Let's go check these items out. All right, so here's the first item. Boom. Star shower with motion. 1249. Was 4998. Is it worth it? Second item. Tree dazzler. 999. Was 3998. Worth it. And I actually found a third item. Christmas bulbs, 300 mini lights, white, was a dollar ninety-five, seventy-five percent off. Worth it. So there you guys have it. Those are the items that I'm sourcing. I know they're seasonal. I could be sitting on them for a little bit. 
they could sell because maybe there's other people out there that are sourcing and even online, you know, I cut them a deal, but I'm still making enough profit to make it worth my while. So I'd love to hear everybody's opinions and let's see if they're worth buying. Also, I encourage you to go to your Home Depot in your area and buy what you can. Let's make some money. Let's find some treasure. Keep swinging for the ring.